Well, you see, I was going to record Warframe, but the struggle is apparently too real. But no, for real, um, I guess this is all kind of updating, so for those of you who are a fan of Warframe, before I get the video started, uh, you might want to skip to like a minute or two in. I'm just going to describe how the game works. Um, well, not how the game works, but how the update works so far. Um, guys, from what I can gather from it, all it really added was these thing were these things called relays, where you can meet this new guy right here who is supposed to be a void merchant. And he's supposed to have stuff that you can't find anywhere else, but he has his own currency too called Orokin Ducats. So if you guys would like to get on the update and play, that's what's new apparently. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys later in the video. Two years later. Three years later. One eternity later. Oh my god, hurry up, please. Ah, dude, it's so irritating. Rawr. God said to John, come forth and you'll win eternal life. But John came fifth and won a toaster. Yay, God, finally. <laughs> Hi guys, Ian here, and we are going to do a Let's Fun of Warframe. Keep in mind that this is a Let's Fun and not a Let's Play because, I don't know, this doesn't seem like I can Let's Play it for very long. Because it kind of has an infinite amount of missions. <laughs> but, um, yeah guys, Warframe, um, I'm pretty sure I didn't tell you guys, um, like what this game is about. So for those of you that are unaware, first of all, you are sure you are certainly square. And second of all, <laughs> battle block. Second of all, um it's practically like if you took ooh melee weapon XP. That is interesting. Okay. Oh. My sword just got in new level or a new amount of levels i guess so um it's practically like if you took how can i say this it's like if you took mass effect characters and put them in a prince of persia type of world with like the parkour and stuff um so yeah this is practically what warframe is you can go around all of the solar system from what I've seen and you can like just demolish people and it is like really fun <laughs> now um, <clears throat> uh, sorry about that Hold on. I need to play with some volume But, um, anyways, guys, this game is so fun, like, you will not believe. You guys will see what I mean, but I'm just playing because it's President's Day, you whoop de doo thanks, dead presidents, and I'm bored, and this is a really fun game. Okay, so hold on, this is something that irritates me all the time. My character's opening is to go from a vent, where we spawn from has no vents. Like, at all. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that, guys. But anyways, as I was saying, like, this is... Look at this. Vent. Tell me where a vent would fit from up there, really? But, um... Yeah, guys. Warframe is... poker face I was gonna do a stealth kill but I was like uh nah <laughs> or nah so um you guys can customize your weapons and your character as you can see red but your weapons that you start off with vary from what you want but the weapons I have right now is this sword well katana my kunais, my little ninja stuff, 
and then I have my assault rifle. So in case you guys are wondering what weapons I have, those are what I have. And you gotta look at them because I don't know the names of them. And maybe you guys know the look instead, so. Hold on. I need to change my sensitivity because that is like, whoa, God. All right, sorry about that, guys. I just, like, died. <sighs> um, name sensitivity. Turn that down a little. Save changes. Yes, please. Saving. Because that was a bit too high, even for my likings. Yeah, um, you guys can quick access your katana at any time by holding or pressing B. But if you have your katana, you can go into what I like to call ultimate form by holding left trigger, and that's basically just gives you more power with it. Um, so let me tell you guys a bit about the HUD, since you guys see that. Um, this is basically a capture the flag or king of the hill kind of game. Not capture the flag, sorry. Um, on the top left, you can see what the enemies own, or own by A, B, C, D. Red means that they own it, and blue means that I own it. Um, at the top right, you can see a blue bar with a number above it. That's my shield. The red bar is my health, and the green bar is my... Um, what's it called? The green bar is my stamina, so it's kind of like um, Skyrim in a way, except for instead of magic, it's shields, or magicka, I'm sorry, and then, yeah, guys, <laughs> I don't really know what to comment on right now, it's kind of been a pretty boring life in the day of Ian, a pretty boring day in the life of Ian, damn, failed, <laughs> well, back to first grade I go, ain't got no shame, so see, I'm capturing a talent, capturing alpha, and now I have it captured, and now the horde begins. If you're really good at your free running, you can actually do some pretty game breaking stuff like I almost did. But I sadly did not because I fail miserably. But, um,. Yeah, at the beginning of this game, don't ask me what that effect is because I have no idea. It's not harming me, apparently, so at least I know that much. But, um, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. As you guys can tell, this is kind of, like I said, it's like if you took Mass Effect's characters and some of its fighting style and mixed it with, like, parkour from, like, Prince of Persia. God, they are hella winning. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know why they even gave me this mission, because this mission is, like, best for, like, three to four players, and it gave me the mission at one player, which makes no sense, but okay, whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna capture this one, Bravo, next. Um, I might be doing a parkour, like, tutorial for you guys if you want to, because I tried to find one, and it, like, didn't really show me anything except for sprinting and jumping, and I was like, that is not what I meant. But, um, they captured Alpha already, are you kidding me? But, like, to show you guys how to get around the map faster, because that can definitely come in handy, especially in this mission. This is an Earth mission, and it's for, like, level 5 through 6, I think. I'm just kind of doing it to show you guys, like, what this game is like and how fun it can be. It can also be pretty annoying, though. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. But yeah, in case it wasn't very clear, I'm not the 
I'm not very good at this game and I'm just gonna forfeit. <laughs> Cause that mission is practically impossible for me with just one player. Um Yeah. Hold on. Um, let me see. Okay, we only recorded for ten minutes. That's really actually kinda bad because we haven't done anything. <laughs> Um, so let me guys, let me show you guys around the ship. This will just be an introduction. I guess I'll just do another episode or whatever. This is your navigation system. This is where you access the hub for all of your different things. As far as relays go, from what I told you in the beginning, I don't know how to get into them. So don't ask me about that because I honestly have no idea. Um, if we go over here, this is the market where you can buy and sell all kinds of stuff from weapons to equipment to color skin packs and all kinds of weird stuff here's your codex where you can like do training and like yeah this is where you can like buy your weapons and pets and stuff like that see pets companions pretty segue um if we come over here and down here this is where I spend most of my time, well, not here, but like down here. There's like, here's the foundry. Uh, yeah, this is where you can make your stuff. I'm trying to make dual heat swords, but god, those things take forever. 12 hours, and I don't even have the resources. Uh, mods, this is where you can like sell or buy mods, I guess. I don't know, I honestly haven't gone to this shop very much. And then this is where I spend all of my time, in our arsenal, where we can customize our character and change our weapons, and our character, I guess, if you wanted to. See? You can change not just the way your character looks, but how they act and stuff. Hydroid, from what I've seen, is really OP, because he has this one water move. Just, just look up Hydroid water move. It's pretty OP. Yeah, good for you, Ortis. Calm down. So I have, I'm a level 7 Excalibur. Level 5 Braddon is my assault rifle. My kunai are rank 7. And my katana is rank 9. I don't have a companion yet. Even though I want Death Cube because he looks awesome. Uh, gear. Uh, just, just know. Don't waste your time. And then revives I'm already maxed out on. Um, yeah, I could try to do a 20 minute episode, but I don't know, like, if that will work very well. If it does, then I will just do that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. These are all pretty high level, actually. I'm like level 7, right? Yeah, I'm a level 7. So these are level 8 missions that I can't do. Well, I can't do, I just don't feel like it. Level 1 through 3, are you kidding me? Alright, you know what? Nope, I'm pulling one of these off. Finding squad. Squad! 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 And we will see if I'm joining anybody. Gary, come home. So I kind of went through a quote-unquote harsh breakup. It wasn't really harsh for me. But she just kind of got all butthurt for no reason. And so now I'm just kind of sitting here being happy that I'm single for once. And people like tripping. I like how whenever I try to be happy, everybody else just wants me to be normal. Like how I usually am, where I fake being happy. It's actually kind of irritating, to be honest, but what can you do, you know? Life lessons from Ian. <laughs> yeah, don't come to me for life lessons, guys, because I will be either the most depressing or most unrealistic person you will ever meet. So, quick little tutorial on something that will really save you guys. Sprint, crouch, and press A while you're sliding, and you'll do that little flip thing. Bro, 
That saves you so much time and stamina you don't even know. And you can do it from practically any slide. Like every time you slide, you can do it. It's just like a little front flip thingy. And it's pretty quiet. Oh crap. Ooh, credits. Ooh, credits. Thank you. 15 credits. Yeah. Uh, sorry for my lack of commentary, guys. I just, like I said, I really don't have anything to talk about. See, when I become famous and I get like a gajillion subscribers, <laughs> never gonna happen. Um, <laughs> I am going to like talk about whatever I can find in the comments, and that's it. Cause I suck at commentary. I didn't know I had to do that. It's been probably about two weeks since I've played this, somewhere around there. So if I do forget certain controls, I'm sorry. And we will be going for a 20 minute video on this, or I guess until this mission ends. Because this is actually a fairly good and quick mission. There is an awoken artifact somewhere near here that no one gives a damn about. Where's my teammate? Why does he need help? Why does he need my help? Uh, fine, 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 fine. This game is so good. Um, so let me give you a bit more information on the actual game itself, I guess. Well, I'll talk about like how like how the game is and stuff, like review it, and then in the next episode I'll tell you like what it's about and like how you control it and stuff. So if you guys want to get this game, it is free right now on the Xbox One market. Just search up Warframe. It's a free to play game, but it's supposed to like you can like if you want you can buy things with real money but you don't have to like it's I don't ever do stuff like that hence why I never have like a Call of Duty map by the way I will be um buying one Call of Duty map for the first time ever um to play exo zombies and I will be doing that for this channel because god I love zombies but um yeah, to get this game, it is free on the Xbox One market. Just go ahead to free games and download Warframe. It's a fairly new game, I guess. It came out about a year ago, I think. And I only remembered it because like, I saw it from, I think it was gaming lemonade or lemonade game or gamer whatever his name is i don't really watch him that much anymore sadly but i think it was lemonade gaming and he and i i think it was him but i'm not sure he was like showing off this game and like giving us all like a preview peek or whatever of it and it looked really interesting to me you know it looked really fun but was, he said that was a pc only game at the moment I was like, oh, shucks, Buster. And so I got super mad. And then I went to the free games, and it was on there. And I was like, oh, my God. Um, oh, yeah, and other news. I got my first cosplay done. Oh, yay. It was actually really awesome. It's a Solux Captor um, cosplay. It's really cool. I might show like a picture of it in the future i don't know i might just wear it for a vlog or something but um as of currently there's other news i was gonna say oh yeah as of currently besides the cosplay news i also am going to try okay try not like succeed because i doubt i will i'm going to try to save up to get my own personal laptop 
and so that way I could do laptop gaming for you guys and like actually record stuff legitimately and be able to process video at a better rate and stuff, you know, because I can get a game recorder for probably 30 bucks if that, but a PC is going to be a while because that is a lot of money. My um, sister is trying to hook me up with my connections in order to get a cheaper one, so it does, I, don't, I don't know when I'll get it, but that is what is next on my market right now. <laughs> that is what the Ian wants, and that is what sh the Ian shall receive. Needs help to open a door. Bro, where are you? <laughs> Yeah, no duh. Just gonna go put a waypoint or something, dude. Um, so you can. I just remembered this. You can put waypoints. You can. God, that dude needed to be mowed down. You can press up on the D-pad and it will give you a waypoint, just like this. Let's see waypoint. Okay, never mind. This is a completely different mission that I was thinking of. So I guess I will. See you guys in the next episode because this is actually a pretty long mission. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. God, that sounds really generic. Um, good morning, good evening, and good night to whoever may be watching it this at who at whichever time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Love y'all. Bye.